Hello friends, this is Dr. Nikita here, your educator, mentor and friend. And here we are in the Microbiology Bench Revision Part 2. The Bench Part 1 has been there on the MedSynapse app, where we discussed uh, the mnemonics for bioterrorism, biosafety levels, incubation period. Then we discussed bacteriology, immunology, mycology and part 1 of virology, where we have already discussed virology classification, DNA, RNA, the symmetry, envelope, non-envelope. And we have seen the various structures. How do you identify viruses from the image which is given? This is the next part of virology where we are going to see the important life cycles in virology. How do you identify a virus from the life cycle? This is very, very frequently asked in the exam, like the life cycle of Ebola, Nipah, West Nile, right? Japanese encephalitis, yellow fever. All of this is very frequently asked. So in this video, I'm going to tell you some quick tricks, cheat codes and mnemonics on how do you identify the life cycles easily. So first one, when you see a rodent that is rat, which is shown in the image, and this is inhalation, which is shown in the image. What virus is this where you have the rat and inhalation? Remember, this is hunter virus. Okay, this is hunter virus. So remember for hunter, it is hat that is rat and it is HA that is inhalation. Okay, hunter is hat, rat, inhalation and hun is bun. So remember, this is a Bunya virus, Bunya viridi, which has segmented genome. So rodent, jaha dikha rat inhalation, that is hunter virus. Okay. Next is the Nipah virus. So remember, for Nipah virus PP, you would see the pig and the date palm sap, which is shown in the image. So pig and date palm sap. This is Nipah. Remember, PA. This belongs to paramyxovirus PA. And N-I is Nikita loves to eat fruits, right? So remember Nikita loves to eat fruits. So Nipah will also have your fruit bat, okay? So this is fruit bat. So by this, the fruit bat contaminating the fruit, the date palm sap, consumption of that leads to outbreak, okay? The Nipah virus outbreak. Next one that you have here, another cycle where you can have bat, right? But you don't have the pig here. Okay, don't have the pig shown here or the fruit shown here. So remember this is bat wala dusra is B for Ebola and bat. So bats will be shown here in the Ebola also. And remember Ebola, E, F, E ke baad aata hai F. It is a filamentous virus like this. Similar to Marburg virus which is also filamentous, filo virus. Okay, so Ebola is a filo virus, filamentous virus. So from our mnemonics that we have discussed in the binge revision part 1 of microbiology, bioterrorism category, what does Ebola belong to? Filamentous, fellow, filla, shoes, penke, A plays with a small bat in uh, with wearing filla shoes in France. Remember A. So this is category A, bioterrorism. Why? Uh, Nipa and Hunter, right? Nipa and Hunter is C. I hope you remember the mnemonic. Nipa and Hunter, Niha is category C. Okay, that is category C uh, in the bioterrorism, Nipah and Hunter, right? So we are done with these three. Going to the next one where you are shown that there is a mosquito. This is not Aedes mosquito. So Culex mosquito, Culex mosquito and you have the bird. So how do you differentiate West Nile from Japanese encephalitis ka life cycle? So remember in Japanese encephalitis. Okay, Japanese encephalitis, again P here will have the pigs similar to Nipah. So Nipah, Japanese, PP, remember Nipah, Japanese, PP, they will have pig in their life cycle. Okay, so this is where you have the pig here. So Japanese encephalitis, pig is PP, remember this is the amplifier host in the Japanese encephalitis. The normal cycle goes between the Culex mosquito and the water bird. Right, the water bird or the ardid bird that is shown here. Humans and horses, they are the dead host there. Okay, dead end host. Similarly, for West Nile also, humans and horses, they are accidental host here. The cycle goes between the mosquito and the bird. This is not the water bird. This could be any bird, like it could be crow, it could be sparrow. So remember bird and mosquito, the culex mosquito. This is that there is no pig here in the West Nile. This is going to be West Nile. Is West Nile endemic in India? Yes, West Nile, Crimean, Congo, these are endemic in India. Okay, so that's how you're going to differentiate. Remember Japanese, cute Japanese on the banks of West Nile River. So remember these are cute, Culex mosquito for West Nile and 
Japanese encephalitis. Okay, West Nile and Japanese encephalitis, uh, Culex mosquito. Next, you have the cycles where you will see the tick as the vector, right? So remember KFD. I hope you remember our rhyme of the uh, tick. Well, you know, we're playing the Congo. We are singing the rhyme, which is baby to a heart, tick, 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 hard like a rock, tick, tick, tick. And the baby says, kya faltu laga hai, right? So I hope you remember kya faltu is KFD, right? And Congo, playing the Congo is to remember the Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever. So remember, this is seen in India and KFD also is seen in India, right? So remember, uh... So when you have the tick as the vector, okay, the tick as the vector, look at the four pairs of legs in the tick. So tick as the vector, along with you have monkey here, okay, you have the monkey, the rodent and the monkey. This is going to be, this is going to be KFT, okay, the rodent and the monkey, this is going to be the KFT, okay, the Kanasur forest disease. While in the Crimean Congo, remember CCC, that is going to be cattle, which is going to be shown. In the Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever. Okay, so there is going to be cattle here, right? So remember uh, in KFT, there will be monkey. So remember monkey is in the forest. So forest disease, rodent and monkey in KFT. While you have CCC cattle in the Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever. Okay, so that is where you have, this is Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever. Both of these are seen in India. Going to next one where you are given the cycle like this which is the uh, egg jungle wala cycle, sylvatic cycle, that is the jungle cycle and you have the urban cycle. So this is related to your Aedes mosquito. So remember Aedes is the tiger mosquito. So in the jungle is the tiger. So you will have the sylvatic or the jungle cycle here, which is again going between the mosquito and the monkeys, the non-human primates. Okay. Then you have the urban cycle between the mosquito and the humans. Right, there's going to be this urban cycle. So, when you have in the image uh, given here sexual transmission, blood transfusion, and it is showing an antenatal, a pregnant mother here transmitting to the baby. So, this ADs wala condition, we are talking about Zika. Remember, Zika affects the Hofbauer cells in the placenta and it can cause congenital Zika uh, infection where the baby can have microcephaly. Uh, subcortical calcifications, right? These are seen commonly with Zika virus. While this one here, which is in Africa, yellow fever is not in India. Okay, yellow fever is not in India. So where you have again the ADs and you are just shown this uh, cycle here without the, uh, without the vertical transmission, right? The pregnant mother there, the child there, the sexual transmission, then it is going to be yellow fever. Okay, so how do you differentiate? Yellow fever is no vertical transmission here, while in Zika, there is going to be vertical, uh, vertical transmission there. Okay, the placenta is affected. Yellow fever, remember yellow, yellow, dirty fellow. What is the strain for yellow fever vaccine? It is 17D. Yellow is the egg yolk. This is contraindicated in egg allergy. And remember, this gives lifelong immunity once you give the yellow fever vaccine. Okay. Coming to next one, parvovirus that was asked in the recent INICT exam. So look at this one. Whenever you are shown a virus ka cycle which is affecting the bone marrow, right? It is affecting the bone marrow. Then there is lungs, gut, kidney, liver. Multiple ones are affected, especially when you see the bone marrow affected. Think of parvovirus B19 because P for P, parvovirus binds to the P antigen on the RBC and leads to a uh, red cell aplasia or aplastic crisis okay it leads to aplastic crisis plus you can see it is affecting the joint so it leads to arthralgia right and uh, causing the anemia it leads to non-immune hydrops petalis very very important so it leads to fetal anemia as well non-immune hydrops petalis fetal anemia it causes the fifth disease erythema infectiosum with slabbed cheek appearance, right? With the slabbed cheek appearance, all these are important points for parvovirus, okay? Parvovirus. So parvovirus again has this aerosol transmission. The main target is the erythroid progenitor cells in the bone marrow. Remember this receptor GB4 that is globocide, okay? The GB4 
cerebroside or globoside this is your receptor for parvovirus so bone marrow for parvovirus papa remember like pancytopenia it causes anemia that is a plastic crisis it binds to the rbcs okay it binds to the rbcs progenitor cells and coming to this one when on the tongue you are giving this the, on the lateral border this white white lesion this is the oral hairy leukoplakia and remember this leukoplakia looks similar to the oral thrush caused by candida so oral thrush is candida leukoplakia is ebv associated recent exam question remember this is non scrapable while candida is scrapable candida ka oral thrush is scrapable this is non scrapable so leukoplakia is epstein barr virus right so those were the quick points related to the important virology cycles remember all of this is very very important okay this is very very important remember west nile and the cchf crimean congo they are endemic in india crimean congo congo wala is hartic and west nile is the culex okay west nile is a culex the other culex uh, is the japanese encephalitis which will have the pig also shown in the image along with the water board that's how you identify the life cycles so that was the quick revision of the very very important virology life cycles in the next video we are going to see important points important images and life cycles of parasitology with all the mnemonics thank you so much for watching this one do not forget to like this video and share it with all of your friends so that everybody gets benefited out of this for the part 1 of microbiology binge revision do not watch or do not forget to watch that on the medsynapse app thank you goodbye take care and keep studying keep revising keep medsynapsing and keep winning thank you